Okay, what you've been waiting for, the room tour. This is where the magic happens. Welcome to my boudoir, the bedroom. <laughs> so I got the smaller of the two bedrooms and I have made it function as best as I can. Now, the only thing that was in the bedroom was this bed and headboard, and it is a twin bed for those that are asking uh, or wondering, um, which is bigger than the bed that I've had in the van for the last five years. I've slept on a bed smaller than a twin, slimmer and shorter. So this is like almost a double bed to me. My beds have been about 25 wide by 65 one time and 67 one time long. So 67, I believe was what was in Taurus. I think in my minivan is what I had a 65 inch or 66 inch or something. I've never had one longer than like 67, 68 inches long. So this is a twin, had to go out and get twin sheets um, because I didn't have twin sheets before on the other bed in the van. So I'm just going to give you a little tour of everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bedroom door and just kind of take you around the whole room in a circle so you can see what I've got going on in each individual place. Um, because the last thing to show you is the storage, which is behind the bedroom door. So I'm going to start at the bedroom door and kind of go, um, I guess that's counterclockwise around the room. So I'm going to turn you around and we're going to start there. Okay, here we have the back of the bedroom door. Now, please keep in mind, this is an addition onto an older house and it was not properly done. So, you know, as far as walls and um, insulation and that kind of stuff, it's not the greatest. And so you'll see cracks and you'll see um, paint that's kind of slapped on any old kind of way. I didn't do that. It was already there. <laughs> anyway, so I did put these hooks on the back of the bedroom door. And I did that because um, you have things you wear at night, your pajamas, you have like a pair of jeans that you're going to wear twice. But I'm the kind of person I don't like my worn once clothes that are still clean. I don't like them in the closet with my actual clean clothes. So I wanted to separate them. So I'll hang a pair of jeans like these pants I have on now will be hung up here tonight when I go to bed. Um, I have a pair of wool socks that I wear sometimes outside, but I don't really have stinky feet. I know that's like TMI. <laughs> so I can wear socks two or even three times because I don't get sweaty, stinky feet. My feet are always freezing cold. So I don't really have that stinky feet issue. So I will wear these wool socks two or three times. Um, these are my pajamas or things that I'll just wear lounging around the house because I don't wear my crystalvanner.com tee all around the house. I just kind of wear it in videos. So this is just a Target jumpsuit, you know, or a, a tank and shorts. And this is just a nice, um, I'm using it as my robe. So it's just a big, huge rainbow scarf. And what I did is I tied it at the top so it makes like a halter. When I run out to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and then I just hold it closed. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my robe solution instead of buying a robe. I don't really need a robe. So, and then these are my really super thick winter socks that I'll put on at night if I'm sleeping. Um, because my feet do get really, 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 really cold. And it gets really cold in this room because my window is extremely drafty, which is why I have a little space heater. So you'll see that in a second. Over here... Keeping going um, next to the door here. I these hooks were on the wall already, so I'm using this for my hoodie and my jacket, um, hats, my little like sweater, and my purse. I did add this extra hook for the purse. I've been leaving this one empty because my light switch is here. Just leaves the light switch more available to me. So that's you know stuff by the door that you're gonna grab to go out and leave out of the house. And then you guys know I have my wall hanging. This is actually a shower curtain. And I just used the actual 
holes from the shower curtain. And I did put some screws, like every third or fourth hole has a screw and it's just hanging on the wall. I needed something on this wood wall to get rid of so much wood. I was going to paint this room when we painted the other parts of the house and V's room, but painting was such a chore and a labor and I knew I had to paint Mona as well and I did not want to do any more painting. So I just had this already, put it up on the wall, bada bing, bada bam, done. Finito. So I'm going to lure you down and just show you the overall part of the bed. So this is my bed. Um, I don't have a big comforter. I do have two fleece blankets. I have this little fleece throw that I put at the bottom to keep my feet warm because if my feet are warm, I'm pretty warm, even if I'm sleeping nude. I've had this pillow since beginning my journey and I actually need to take this cover off and, and wash it. It's really getting kind of yucky. But I found this at a cafe, um, a black owned coffee cafe. It's a woman sitting on top of a, like a box truck van. And they had it in their cafe. And I was just like, oh, I need that pillow. And the owners told me that I could get it on their website, but I was actually leaving to start my full-time journey in two days. And I told her, I don't have time to get mail. Can I buy this pillow from you and order you a new pillow? And she said, yes. So I took this pillow from her, ordered on the website of the artist um, uh, who made this pillow and sent it to the restaurant's address and then followed up with them to make sure that they got it and they did. So it was pretty cool. Down here, um, I, this bed was pushed completely against the wall when we got in here. I wanted a little space over here. Um, I have my little small table with, um, you guys know who Bob is, Bob the Frog. He um, houses my uh, B.O.B.s. You know what that is. If you don't, uh, I'll might tell you in the comments. And um, I love pillows for sitting up, but I only sleep on this one pillow, the black one. It has the kind of satiny, silkish pillowcase on it, which us curly girls need. This bed is kind of a headboard um, storage, you know, bed thing. So I just took the baskets that I had already in Taurus and utilized them on the bottom row and up here on the top row. I've grown my book collection. I've been ordering books <laughs> since living in Sticks and Bricks, but I have a designated spot for them in Mona. So I have room for those. I could probably get a few more and then that's it. I'm thinking I gotta have like 20 books is like my max for books. So I have to make sure whatever I'm getting, I 100% want it and we'll be revisiting it, rereading it, that kind of thing. On the bottom is just some miscellaneous overflow toiletries, um, some dental hygiene stuff here, alcohol peroxide here, um, some wipes, and um, I have my scarf to wear my hair at night and a couple little things. And this is just a little bit of art stuff. There's some markers and pens and pencils in the pouch and in the red bin, there is my um, art journal, mixed media art journal. And I don't know if you guys watch my social media posts, but I did receive my book to be part of the Brooklyn Library of Art um, exhibit. So I'll be doing art videos in that probably on the other channel. This side of the room is like business in this corner. So I'm going to bring you closer and show you where all the videoing happens, where all the crystalvanner.com work happens. Okay, so this is where all of the crystalvanner.com work happens. So um, I have one outlet here. I have another outlet on the other wall next to the wall hanging. And then I have another outlet when I'll show you um, on the wall that has the fridge and the heater plugged into it. So for a small room, having three outlets is really good. However, I did put a power strip in this outlet and I attached it to my cheap desk. This desk was about 25 or 30 bucks <laughs> at walmart.com that I had delivered. And this chair I found on Facebook Marketplace about 25, 30 minutes from here and it was $20. Brand new chair in over Overstock Warehouse. They had bought out a supplier 
of office furniture. And this was the only small chair that they had because I needed something tight to fit. I needed something without arms. I needed something that would go up and down and that would fit in this small space because I was using my camp chair and my back was killing me. So I needed something that was really an office chair. So for this setup, I, like I said, have the power strip, which I attached a um, hook to the desk and put the power strip on it. So everything is plugged into the power strip and runs behind the desk. So I don't have a bunch of crazy wires all over the place. So let me just get you a little closer so you can see um, the computer, the desk setup, everything, and this other table that I have sitting um, here. Okay, so now I'm sitting at my desk and I've got my computer here, which I've been using a lot since being in Sticks and Bricks. And I don't know if you've ever paid attention, but I rarely break out my laptop. <laughs> I actually hate working on the laptop, but there are just some things that are just easier to do on the laptop. So when I'm doing my live videos, this is normally my setup, I will put the... Um, the live that you see is probably happening on a cell phone, which is propped up here. That's the video image that you're seeing. But all of the switching and things that I'm doing on the live stream is happening on the computer, which is why my eyes are darting back and forth from the screen, from the screen I'm talking to you on to the screen I'm working on. Because this camera on this computer is just not good. Most computers just don't have really good webcams. And I could get a separate webcam and attach to this, but I have so many old phones that you can just use an old phone for a webcam. And this is an old iPhone that someone actually gave me a couple of years ago. I always have my tea in my water bottle here when I'm working. And yes, there's actually tea in here because I have not finished drinking my tea for today. Now this small table here, which I love, I've shown this table before. And this table folds flat, flat. And I'm gonna show you that again. I'm gonna take everything off of it and show you how it folds flat. And then there's another table under it which I was able to find at Walmart that I originally have in that corner there, the original one that I got out in Quartzsite, Arizona, that I could never find a small one like it. And then Walmart had these. And I will try and find that link and put it down below in case you're interested in this little small table. Actually, both these tables came from Walmart. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna take everything off this table, fold it down, show you it folded down, and then show you the other one too. If you're not part of the Vanner Fanner family social community, go on over and join now. Post, comment, share your journey. Now, let's check out those tables. So here's the table completely folded down. So it takes up very little space in the van. I can slip it behind the seat or in between something. It also has three different heights. I have it on the middle. It can often also be used as a drafting table with the lean. Now this other table, like I said, I have one like it in the corner there. It's beat, it's beat up. I've had it a few years and it was given to me um, from another van dwelling woman. And she found it in Quartzsite, Arizona. I went back to court site that year that she gave it to me and could not find a small one. You see these all the time in the bigger size, but this small size is the absolute best. And it also feels pretty flat. So there you go. So I keep this one as a bedside table. And at night, uh, during the day, it's, it lives underneath this bigger table because I don't sit at this um table. This, this used to be the table I would eat on and work on in the van. And it will go back to being that because I'm obviously not going to be bringing this desk into the van with me. At night when I push the chair into the desk, I put this next to the bedside and I put my tablet on here. And that's what I use for TV watching at night. And my cup of water, snack, whatever fits on here right behind the tablet. 
So I also do use my tablet when I'm working. So I'm one of these weirdo people that has multiple things going on while they're working. So I'm working on the computer and I could be video chatting with someone and I'll have music or something going on the tablet as well. So back to the room door. So I do use a wireless mouse and I got the wireless mouse and wireless keyboard combination because occasionally I like to lay in the bed and watch something on the bigger screen of the laptop. So I will just move the laptop to this table and then I can type in Netflix and password and all that and watch a bigger screen than the, um, I believe this is a tenant screen. And then this computer, this laptop is a 17. So it gives me a little bit bigger um, view. So I will keep the keyboard under here on this table sometimes too, or just back over there. Now we're gonna keep going. So here I have my ring light, which I bought this mount. I love this mount. I haven't had it long, literally just a few days. And I love it because I can move the light wherever I want it to be. Even if I want it to be completely down, if I'm filming a video down on this desk or something, like a crafting video, I love this mount. This is my mount. I will be taking it with me. But I love that it you know, lets me move the ring light wherever I want it. And I'm gonna move it that way since we're going in that direction. So this piano bench, or what I'm calling a piano bench, was here at the house. There's two of them. I brought this one into my room to give me another flat surface for some things. These are some miscellaneous things that I'm kind of always getting. And there's not a lot of room in our kitchen. So I have some kitchen things here. I have some tools, my drill. I have <laughs> three different water bottles back here, which I really don't use these two anymore. This is the actual Berkey water bottle. This is not the Berkey top because the water bottle that I use, I put the Berkey top on it to use the Berkey filter. However, the water bottle part of the Berkey really sucks. So I kept the water bottle though, because when you get a new filter, the first thing you have to do is fill your water bottle with water, put the new filter on and press the water through it to get the black gunk out. And I can't do that in the water bottle that I'm using because it is a metal water bottle. So I keep that just for new filter usage. This is my fridge. You guys know I had this fridge in my van. This is the fridge. I am still using it. As you can see, it is on. I am still using it. Again, kitchen is small, very limited space. So I keep a lot of my refrigerated things in here. That way um, there's more room in the big fridge for the bigger items. This is just storage. That is paperwork that I need to go through and put in that file box down here. At some point I will sit down and do my files. Okay, now we're over into this corner of the um, room. I have my three plastic drawers. I bought two of them and stacked them on each other. So I don't know if you know about these, can, these drawers from Walmart or Target, wherever you get them, you can usually pop the top off and stack them. So that's what I did. I had the slimmer ones stacked in the van, six high on each side of the bed there. So I decided to do the same thing with this, the wider ones. And this is where my other outlet is. And the only thing plugged in this outlet is the fridge and the heater. So I keep a couple candles here. I do like, I burn my incense here. So there's nothing in the way of it. I don't wanna burn it over there. This is my jewelry. This is some more jewelry. And this is my workout bag, which I obviously haven't been using, but this big thick nail was in the wall and it was a perfect place to hang it. This is my clothing closet. So let me get you in a position to okay, see so the clothing, clothing closet. closet did not come with a door. There are hinges here. So at some point there was a door and someone removed it. It already had a bar inside um, for hanging, but this is a spring bar that I already had in the van. So I had three spring bars in my van and then Mona came with a spring bar as well. So I ended up with four different curtain rod spring bars. I bought two sets of these curtains. They're really, really good. I'm very pleased they will be going in Mona when I'm done. They are um, an insulated blackout curtain. Um, not so much insulated, but they are blackout and they're super thick. This is almost like a canvasy material. And I love this gray. 
I want to paint Mona's walls this gray or maybe a slightly lighter gray than this. I love this gray. It's like a steel gray. I don't know if the color's coming across well on video, but it's like a steel gray and I love it. So in my clothing closet here is all the clothes. <laughs> I did hang a um, damp red in here just because this wall is exposed and it is a cinder block outside wall and I knew it was going to be damp in this closet with this curtain closed. It is much cooler with this curtain open. That's another reason I wanted a heavy duty curtain here because I, this room is very drafty and this, this whole side wall where the window is is nothing but cinder block. I have this wood paneling on the top of cinder block but in the closet they didn't do that so it's much much colder in this closet and I'm standing here and I can feel the cool air coming in. So these are all my clothes. I don't have many. This is the end of them. This is it. There are a few things back here that are summer and that's pretty much it. I don't have a lot of clothes. My goal is to have 40 hangers and that's it. No more than 40. So I'm going to be going through and whittling away at things because I tend to wear the same things over and over and I do laundry every week. So it's not a big deal. I do have a few things stored in here, like my camp toilet, my two um, propane tanks, 11 pound propane tanks are stored in here, my yoga mat, my bin with my uh, emergency rations supply, which I need to go back through that bin and make sure that everything is good to go, nothing's expired. I think I have a couple of things from when I did it last year that were expiring in 2021, so I need to go through that. I also have my... Um, duffel bag that I take um, if I'm going on a trip, like a, you know, a separate trip other than van dwelling trip. And I have another duffel that was given to me that I'm using as a crafting bag, which is perfect because I needed that. And then I have my small red camp chair in there as well. And then my flip flops, my hiking boots and my tennis shoes are in there on the floor. And I finally found a heater that keeps the room toasty warm. I've turned it off for this video, but it does keep the room toasty warm. This is the third heater that I've tried so behind the door is my laundry bag and my laundry detergent. It is laundry time. I'm gonna move that out of the way so I can show you. This room had a alcove. I'm calling it a storage alcove because that's what I'm using it for. So this is where all of my miscellaneous and storage stuff that was in the top of the van and under the bed is here. This bar was here already. So I just took it down, just take the screws out and took it down and put the curtain on it. So this is all my storage. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight bins of things for storage. Now, some of this is toiletries, some of it's kitchen stuff. This whole bin is stuff that I'm probably going to get rid of. A lot of it is miscellaneous stuff that I need to decide if I'm keeping or not. Some of it is just bulky items like curtains and material and fabrics and stuff. This one is pretty much full of curtains, materials, and fabric. I do have curtains for Mona in there as well, some red and some gray ones. So I do have those as well. So with the curtains that I bought for the house and these curtains, Mona is good to go on that kind of curtain material. Some of it's camping stuff down on the bottom. This is electrical, zip ties, um, cell phone stuff, all kinds of random stuff in this one. And this is that that um, battery operated rechargeable water, um, what do you call it? Power sprayer. I, de I decided I was going to keep that after all. So this is all my storage. So everything in this room at one point or time was inside of Taurus. So it was a lot of stuff. Yeah. So that's the room tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I took everything and condensed it into a small room, how I'm utilizing my space. And there will be future videos showing you what I'm getting rid of um, and what's going to be staying, what's going to be going into Mona, all that kind of stuff. So thank you for watching another video. Remember, be good to yourself, be kind to others and whatever you're doing, I hope you are enjoying it. Right now, there's some clickable elements on your screen. Go ahead and check out the journey from day one 
or check out the recommended video. Don't forget to click that circle to subscribe.